This is Twit. Did any? I got the new iPhone. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I do it for work. Uh, it is like incrementally better than the old iPhone. Um, titanium's pretty, although a lot of uh, YouTubers are scratching and breaking and nicking. Uh, some say that the color, this is the, the natural titanium. Some say that the colored ones can be scraped. I don't care. You put it right in a case right away. And then other people are pointing out, well, if you're going to get a case, don't get Apple's fine woven case, their replacement for leather, because it's easily marred by scratches. I fix it had a uh, interesting microscopic take uh, take what it tear down of the uh, believe it or not of the fine woven case where they showed actually let me show you because it's a pretty wild picture um, they sh it's a it, the uh, the fibers in this are um, one twelfth the size of a human hair. So let me show you the pictures using a, a microscope from uh, Evidence Scientific. So there's there's what it looks like in your hand. There's what it looks like under 52 magnification. You can see each strand is composed of many strands, kind of like rope, filament. That black thing is a human hair. And then you can see the nylon filaments. They're one twelfth the size of human hair, six microns that are woven together to make kind of ropes that are about twice as big as a human hair. And then they show what the damage uh, uh, happens to it. Let's see here. It's key scrape. So this is the normal untouched fiber. Sliced with a knife, you can see, you know, that's... But this is scratching, and all it does is it doesn't break the little nylon fibers. It rearranges them so it reflects light differently. So there seems to be some evidence that you could actually, you know, somehow with rubbing a uh, cloth on it or something, rearrange these to make it look more normal. They tried uh, damaging it in a variety of <laughs> ways with coffee and so forth. It's going to hold a stain. Do not get hot sauce on your fine woven fabric. Uh, that's not a good idea. I, I have to say, having I bought one of these, and I wouldn't recommend it. At fifty nine dollars, it's a lot of money, and uh, and uh, very ex and very expensive for something that is not I exactly. Think I think I would be hurting just because I personally don't like the feel. But I got to say, people are stupid. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> <laughs> it really irritates me because listen, I understand. I'm in the marketing department. Like this stuff does get clicks. If you scratch leather, does it scratch? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, we but that's the beauty of leather is it takes on a patina of wear. I don't want a patina of wear on my fine woven case. It, it, but that's what it's going to do. It's fabric, fam. Like, you don't go around scratching. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not, it's not the worst thing. Character yeah. in your case, Character. that's fine. I'm oh, replacing silly. it with leather, so. <laughs> See, I'm going to take this bottle of hot sauce and I'm just going to pour it no, on my phone. No, no, look, case. it's a little teeny I'm, weeny I'm gonna Tabasco. I'm going to chug this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Super silly. And then, like, let me scratch the the color on a titanium. Will it come up? Yes. If you scratch the paint on your freaking car, <laughs> it'll come up. Like, come on, people. Like, the stuff that people do to try to make a mountain out of a molehill is so obnoxious right now when and it creates a unnecessary another argumentative divisive type thing that our culture doesn't need like stop looking for fights people Le legit stop looking for fights this is and, a, this is a uh, and i know you're you're a youtuber but this is the part problem with youtube is it incense oh, it incenses sensationalism i mean you know if you want i call them out i yeah. call them out 100 percent, leo because i think it's disingenuous and i can name you two channels right now every apple product this is the cycle this is the greatest thing that ever come oh guess what this is what apple's not telling you oh don't buy this because apple's screwing you oh we bought all of them and these are the greatest products <laughs> oh you know what eight million what apple did. Eight million views they later. Have, <laughs> they have eight. They have eight to ten videos they make yeah. for every single app product, yeah. and it's the exact same it's video cycle. Of, yeah. It's it's obnoxious, yeah. and you know what? The fifteen is in every phone. 
is supposed to be incremental because the 14 people, Leo and I, aren't supposed to buy a 15. This 15 is for the 11 and 12 people. To them, it's a massive upgrade. You're not supposed to buy a phone every year. But somehow, people like us in the tech cycle who buy a phone every year, and I'm literally sitting on the table 13, 14, and 15, um, we're a rare breed, and we're not supposed to talk about it from our lens. We're supposed to talk about it from the lens from the average person because your audience is who you're supposed to be reporting to. And people are like, oh, I'm not going to buy the Apple Watch 2 because it's not a significant upgrade over the Apple Watch Ultra. You weren't supposed to replace an $800 watch. You never know. <laughs> Uh, there is, well, you know who's really big on the link bait? The Wall Street Journal. In the, yeah. <laughs> insides Apple's spectacular failure to build a key part for its new iPhones. Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> there, the, the point of this is they tried to replace the Qualcomm modem chip. You remember they went to Intel to do a modem chip a few generations ago and it was so slow they had to slow down the Qualcomm chip so the phones would perform equally. Uh, for a long time Apple's really wanted to make everything inside of all of their hardware, right? They don't want to go to Qualcomm to make a chip. Uh, in 2018 Tim Cook, according to the Wall Street Journal, uh, gave marching orders to create a modem chip. They hired thousands of engineers so they could get Qualcomm out of the out of the iPhone and, and have it all Apple. Um, they had hoped to have it ready for the iPhone 15, but tests late last year, I'm quoting the journal, found the chip was too slow and prone to overheating. <laughs> but more, maybe more importantly, its circuit board was so big it would take up half the iPhone, <laughs> making it completely unusable. Uh, they they pay a lot of money, about seven. Point two billion dollars last year to Qualcomm for it's not just the hardware they also pay for licenses because Qualcomm owns a lot of these technologies uh, and licenses them out to Apple so there's still a Qualcomm uh, chip in there oh hey that's a really nice iPhone you have there you totally picked the right color hey since you do use an iPhone and maybe use an iPad or an Apple watch or an Apple TV well you should check out iOS today it's a show that I, Micah Sargent, and my co-host Rosemary Orchard host every Tuesday right here on the Twit Network. It covers all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, Watch OS, iPad OS. It's all the OSs that Apple has on offer. And we love to give you tips and tricks about making the most of those devices, checking out great apps and services, and answering your tech questions. I hope you check it out.